My personal guess is that intelligence is uh, probably rather scarce in the universe, but we don't know. We really need to find that one out. It could very well be that intelligence is so scarce that it's not just that we are alone in our galaxy, but we are alone in the local supercluster that the next intelligent civilization over is literally billions of light years away. So as far as risk is concerned, having few alien civilizations might actually be good news, which sounds a bit paradoxical. The reason is that if we see an empty sky, the explanation might be that intelligence or life is very rare. Or it could be that intelligence is common, but it tends to get wiped out. This is why you know, we are really keen to figure out what the actual reason for a fairly empty sky is. So when we think about how much the population of the universe is, we might start looking at where could life emerge? How many of those places would uh, then get, actually get life, and how many of those biospheres would develop intelligence. And then we you know, think about how long does it last. And we know that the answer must be that it can't be super uh, common uh, with intelligence and life, because then we would be noticing alien billboards on the moon and see a lot of stuff. So one of these factors has to be small. We know that there are a lot of planets in the universe, so that can't be the uh, problem. It might be that life is really rare, it might be intelligence, or it might be that its longevity is rare. So now we can take these questions and study them in more detail, and that will help us figure out our own chances. I think uh, the main reason not to take uh, the stories about aliens having landed and contacted us seriously is that they would leave a lot of tangible evidence. These days, everybody carries around a cell phone with a camera. We should be getting really sharp uh, pictures of the UFOs if they were actually landing. So I don't think that evidence seems to hold up very well. Certainly, people see a lot of strange things and experience a lot of strange things. But I don't think it fits in very well with uh, alien landings.